Happy wedding day. My events. Oh. <laughs> yes. It's the fourth row. Yes. And they're playing the Golden State Warriors. Yes. Oh, wow. Oh, this is great. So we can see Seth and Steph Curry at the same time. Yes, we can see the brother. And we could maybe smell Joel and Dee. Yeah. It really is an honor to be here. Uh, I met Mackenzie as a first year student at Messiah when she was getting involved with a ministry on campus called Young Life. And I met Jacob when, it's even funny to call you Jacob, but I met Jacob when he was uh, in sixth grade, uh, when he was getting involved with a ministry called Wild Life. Your marriage will be the strongest. It will be the deepest. It'll be the most fulfilling when God is a part of it. You could grow closer to one another without him, but you would be missing out on the depth of relationship that he has for you. Being Max's best friend has meant having someone that doesn't need to know the whole plan. She just likes to be with you for the adventure. Mac was and is one of those people who you always want around because her humor and light heart put everybody around her at ease. In high school, being Mac's best friend meant I always had someone to bring to things. She always came with me and made everything more fun. I felt love for a little I always remember the first time I heard about you, Jake. Mac had just talked to a cute boy in the hallway at Messiah and she texted me and a few of our friends about it. We immediately started a group chat and named it Jake Rice. 23 years ago, three-year-old me begged my mom and dad for a little sister. My parents told me that I should ask God for a sister every night when I prayed. A few months later, when my parents told me I was getting a baby sister, I jumped up and down on the bed saying, Jesus is real, Jesus is real. I watched her grow into someone who went to this group called Young Life and became convicted by her faith and her relationship with Jesus and is now someone I look up to for being so steadfast in her beliefs. Can I? Yeah. <laughs> when I met you, I remember talking to my dad about this girl I kind of liked. I even said I was going to marry this girl. Here I am, marrying this girl. It's hard for me to recognize the times that God has spoken to me or nudged me in my life. Four years ago, I did something that's not like me, and I put myself out there multiple times for a boy that I did not know. I am overly excited to see the woman of God you become, and I hope to be the man of God standing next to you all the way. Jacob, you may kiss your bride. I've been blessed to see Jake and Mac grow um, since that awkward Monday night at Young Life into honestly one of the strongest couples that I have been able to see um, throughout my life. And really to see them as a couple grow in the last four years has been 
to really truly know what it means to embody the love of Jesus. Genuinely love both these people up here so much, and I cannot just wait to see what they do in the, in the future as husband and wife. So one more time to Jake and Mac, everyone. Yeah.